Hello, and welcome to our lesson on vectors and geometry. So we're going to express B to C in terms of A and B from this diagram. So we can see that B to C is equal to B to A plus A to C, which is here and here. And because we're traveling in the opposite direction of A, this becomes minus A. And we're traveling in the same direction as B, so this becomes positive B. For B to C, we can write as B minus A. For B to D, we know in here we have B to D is three parts and D to C is one part. So B to D will be three quarters of B to C. And we just worked out B to C as B minus A. So this will be three quarters of B minus A. And for A to D, we can go A to B and then B to D. We know A to B is A and B to D was just worked out as three quarters lots of B minus A. We're going to expand out these brackets, so with a plus three quarters of b minus three quarters of a. We can write this a as 4a over 4, which is 1a. Take away the three quarters a, leaves us with one quarter of a plus the three quarters of b. And we can factorize out the quarter. So we have one quarter lots of a plus 3b. Okay, let's try one more question. So in this question, we're going to work out these three vectors to deduce a special property about triangle xyz. You want to begin by trying to work out the three vectors. You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, before we begin, I'm going to work out the vector C to B. This will be needed when I travel along here. So C to B is C to A plus A to B, which is down here and across. And in the question, we're given that A to C is B, so this will be minus B. And A to B is A, so this is positive A. So C to B is A minus B. So now we can find X to Y, which is X to A, which is here, plus A to Y, which is here. X to A we know is minus one half of B, and A to Y is one half of a. So we'll put these back into our equation. So we have one half of a minus one half of b, which we can factorize as one half of a minus b. Now we can work out x to z, which will be x to c plus c to z, which is here and here. And we know that x to c is one half of b, and c to z is one half of a minus b. So again, we can put these values back into here, and we have one half of b plus one half of a minus b which we can simplify, which becomes one half of A minus one half of B. These two will cancel to make zero, so we're left with one half of A. And finally, for Z to Y, this will be Z to B plus B to Y 
we know z to b is one half of a minus b and b to y is one half of negative a so again we'll put these back into our equation so we have z to b plus b to y we'll expand up the bracket so we have one half of a minus one half of b minus another half of a these two will cancel so we're left with one half of b so using these three vectors we can see triangle xyz is half the size of acb so it is similar to the original equilateral triangle thank you very much for watching and i hope you found that useful thanks again and take care